Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. A bit later today, I thought, you know, maybe we'll see a bit of price movement and I could talk about something exciting here. To be honest, uh, all we can do here is looking at the micro and talking about the micro shifts here at the moment. There isn't a lot happening. So instead, I did a Luna Classic video earlier today. Um, for me, the, the trend is still down. Can't really tell you anything new. We can look a bit of the, at the micro count here. Um, as, I, as I said before, there are various different counts possible here on the Bitcoin chart. Yeah, there are various counts um, in this move to the downside. Eventually, I would expect that eventually to land sort of in the region between 14 and 16K. It depends a little bit on what eventually is going to play out here in the micro and um, how far we really come down. If we, you know, have, have a bit of a, um, if we don't have, an ending diagonal and at the moment I have this wave 5 as part of a di diagonal structure which means the wave 5 has three waves A, B, C. If this is not an A, B, C but something different basically an impulse down maybe with a 1, 2 this would be a 3 but it's not really impulsive enough for that but then we could come down quite a lot right. Um, so the, the more or the, let's say the less bearish option is here this A, B, C in which we are now in the wave C. And in the wave C, we've uh, got a five wave move, one, two, three, four, five here in white. And we can make an argument that we are either already in the wave three. Um, that makes sense if we count here the waves as three waves as well, so that the wave three has three sub waves, A, B, C, and the wave B unfolds as a triangle then it makes sense because normally a wave three would be very, very, in this case, bearish, very impulsive. But if it is a diagonal, you know, it's not an impulse really, um, or at least not the internals here. So th that's sort of what we're looking at here. And then it makes sense that we have this sideways movement, A, B, C. Um, so this is sort of my primary count here. And with this count, we would expect to head down here in a wave C next. We'll talk about that in a minute. There is another count. I mean, there are a couple of counts, but really I don't want to confuse you. The other count um, basically suggests that this was the wave one where I've currently got the wave A. Yeah, this the wave one, then here a wave two. And then in the, um, in sort of the internals here, we've got a series of one twos again. Yeah but also then we would come down in a three next, a four and a five. Um, in the end, it doesn't in the very short term, it doesn't make a great difference. You could even say that this wave two yeah, will end here and that again, you have an ABC and the wave B is currently unfolding as a triangle. So there's various options, you know it. But let's take a look at my primary count. We can talk a little bit here about the internals and the micro counting. Um, important to understand is that in the previous videos, I told you, Important to maintain exactly this particular count yeah, with A, B, C, D, E. We must not get above the wave C high, which is at 19,400 basically. And we didn't do that, right? And uh, so we are holding that at the moment. Yeah, we're even holding the wave E high at the moment at 19,310. So we can still assume against 3,000, uh, sorry, 19,310. We might have already started, we are about to start here a wave C down. Well, it currently looks like that we broke out of the triangle to the upside, but it's not confirmed, you know. Um, it is still a valid Elliott wave triangle because we have not broken above the wave C high. Only really then we can consider this as broken to the upside or basically as invalidated. Um, then there is still the option to extend the triangle uh, further because as per this count, A, B, C, D, E, it should really, to be a valid Elliott wave triangle as per this count, it should break to the downside eventually. And that would be confirmed if we break below the low of the wave B, which is here at 18.5K basically. Good indication will be if we break below the wave D low at 18,600 basically. Yeah? So that's what we're looking for and not a lot of movement tomorrow, by the way. Um, Jerome Powell is speaking, holding a speech. I think he's participating in a speech uh, I think it's in Paris um, and it's about the future of blockchain, something like that. I haven't looked it up again, but it was about the future of cryptocurrencies, blockchain. So there'll be a bit of talking. I don't know if the markets are 
moving sideways because they are sort of anticipating something. Um, to be honest, generally, if we compare what Bitcoin is currently doing with other markets, Bitcoin is holding fairly well and crypto generally is holding fairly well. If you compare it with the Dow Jones that made a new low, for example, yeah, Bitcoin and crypto are holding yeah, fairly well, actually. So that's good. Again, it's that is exactly the reason why we look at charts individually and we don't look at the Nasdaq, for example, and uh, that tells us everything about Bitcoin because it just is not a rule. Yeah, it works sometimes, it sometimes works not. And that is, again, nothing that will really help you with trading a lot. Um, it can do for a period, but again, it is not a rule. It is only a rule when it works all the time and it doesn't work all the time. Yeah, good. But that is my view. Still, the focus is here further on the downside. Key resistance level is that, again, remains that $20,200 level. In the short term, we've got 19,900 as well, 19,530 and 19,300. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.